everyone, Irfan Sardat Khan from Javelin Technologies bringing you what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2014. So let us begin first with SOLIDWORKS 2013. So I'll go ahead and I will create a new simulation study. Uh, make it rather simple. I will create some fixtures on the lower feet of this part. And what I will do is there is a force acting uh, let's use the selected direction and for the direction I will pick one of the edges here and the face it acts on is there. Uh, it acts downwards and well that is my setup. Now let's say if I had to do some design changes and remember I'm still in 2013 so uh, I have just received f instructions from my customer that they don't want a flat top. They want a top which will be rather a little bit curved. So I'll go ahead and edit my sketch. And let's see. We will bring in that curved top now. So I'll just use a spline to create that curved top. We'll come in the middle above there. And let's say that's what I want it to be. And let's get rid of that line. Okay, so I have regenerated my model. Now of course as I exit the sketch I will lose that face so it will be a bunch of problems. Uh, first of all that split line fails because the split line is was referring to that face. Okay, we can use SOLIDWORKS to fix up so it will take me a little bit of time. Okay, find out where the problems were so that's the face that was missing. I will select that OK and I have that face recreated. Now if you will notice even the simulation study has an error on it so the geometry was recreated but although I was able to fix up the SOLIDWORKS errors the simulation still needs to be fixed up and I'm assuming that it was only just this one face that is changed. Uh, if I will try to say what's wrong well, it's referring to some geometry that no longer exists. So that face that I had initially created has been lost. So I have to go and edit this uh, force over here and specify where that force acts. And all right, I have fixed the issues. Now let's go and repeat the same process in SOLIDWORKS 20. 14. So I have the same model, the very same model. So first I will go ahead and create a study. Let's go back and apply our fixtures. Okay. Let's apply our load. So I'll apply it on that split face over there and okay. So I have set up my simulation study. Going back to the model I'll repeat the same design changes that I used in SOLIDWORKS 2013 and see how SOLIDWORKS 2014 will handle those. So let's go back and edit that sketch. Okay. So what I will do is I will add that same spline. Roughly the same. Okay. And I will choose to delete that line that created the top face. Now as I try to delete that, uh, I get a message window popping up and saying that do I want to replace the entity that I'm trying to delete with something else. So I can choose the replace entity option and then I can pick the entity that I want to replace with the entity that I'm deleting. So what will happen is that any face or any feature that was created based on a face that was created, generated using that sketch entity will now refer back to the other sketch entity. So how is that going to help me? Let's see. There we go. First of all, that top face now was created using that spline rather than that uh, straight line. As a result, it, w it knows which is the face that has to be split. Uh, now, as far as simply the modeling is concerned, that's on its own is great but what's really great is that when I come back to my simulation study I don't have to go and repeat my setup all over again. The simulation study has already 
regenerated the setup based on that new face ID. So there is no longer an error, there is no missing geometry, uh, everything was propagated not only to the SOLIDWORKS model but using that replace entity, uh, replace sketch entity feature, even my simulation models get updated. Hope you will find this tool really useful and have fun. Thank you.